So I've been meaning to film this for a while now, but Silent Bob kept wanting to do videos, so I kept putting it off and putting it off, but I can't put it off any longer. Someone on Twitter, actually Vanessa on Twitter, was, I think she saw me tweeting about the MAC Hot and Naughty, because it was one of my favorite mascaras. I mean, I used it during the Venomous, when Venom's Villains came out, and uh, I just love the way it made my lashes look. So she was telling me, I hadn't really been buying um, makeup since I have so much, I really didn't need to go out and buy anything. So I hadn't really been keeping up with anything. But she brought to my attention, she's like, oh, well, um, Rimmel came out with what's supposed to be the dupe for Max Hot and Naughty. You know, let me know if you try it and you think it's the same. So I was like, all right, look, I just opened a tube mascara, blah, blah. So I went out and got it anyways. I happened to be at Walgreens getting something else and ended up buying it. So I, when I try, test out a mascara, especially if I'm going to talk about it, which I don't do many of these because most people don't really ask me for them. Um, I just figure there's so many on YouTube that it doesn't really, you know, make sense to ask me unless you really want my personal opinion on it. And uh, the thing with mascaras is I think that you need to use them for a while to really get a feel for what they're going to be like because when you first use a mascara, it's really wet usually. And... Um, later on it starts to dry out and it just starts to work differently so you really don't get a feel for it until you use it for a while. Also I think with any product you should use it for a bit to see how it's going to react you know in day to day like if you just put it on and you wore it around the house I mean is that really going to be the same as if you went outside and you were out and you know out shopping or whatever you're doing for eight hours or you went to work or something you know what I mean so I just feel like you gotta give something time before you can really um, discuss it so these are the two mascaras I'm sure you guys know what they look like but here they are and they both have that same two brush system and as you can see this is the um, <clears throat> wow can't even talk this is the the Rimmel Glam Eyes day to night and this is the Mac and you can tell that there's a real significant difference in the brushes this this one, which is the Rimmel, is more of a spiral type and it's you can see through to the other side. On the MAC one, it's more of a fat to skinny type of thing and it's really dense. Also, you can tell with the product just how much thinner the Rimmel is compared to the MAC Hot and Naughty. Now, those were the volumizing brushes. are the lengthening ones and still you can see the same difference that you could in the volumizing brushes that one is thinner than the other one is more of a spiral the MAC this is the Rimmel one this one's the Rimmel one this one and the MAC one is tapered and thicker and you can just see that the formulas are different so obviously they're not I'm gonna tell you that they're not gonna perform the same I used the Hot and Naughty pretty much for about four or five months. It was the only mascara I used. I didn't use anything else. And then I've had the Rimmel for about two months, and that's what I used for two months, just so I could really see if it was going to do the same as the Max Hot and Naughty. It does not. I'm sorry. I don't feel that it does. But the thing is with mascara is everyone's eyelashes are different so it might do the same it, they might be the same for you which is great because the Rimmel is only $7.99 at Walgreens or it's $7.99 to about $10.99 I think depending on where you live but where I live at Walgreens it was $7.99 Max Hot and Naughty is $18 <laughs> which I usually don't spend that much for mascara and I wouldn't have most likely had it not been used on me at the counter um, I found that this didn't thicken at all. 
it was a great lengthening mascara. Uh, it separates and it doesn't, you know, I, I didn't find it to be clumpy, which Max Hot Naughty can get clumpy, but it's just, you know, depending on how you apply it, if you kind of wipe off the brush and use it, you're fine. But if you just take what comes out, which is usually this big amount, it tends to, uh, to get clumpy. But I didn't see any volumizing with the Rimmel. And uh, my lashes don't grow in like a straight row. They don't do this. Most people's lashes are like this. Um, they go in a straight row. Mine do like this. My lashes are d decent lashes. So any kind of mascara usually does really well. This one, I mean, this would be great for someone who likes that natural lash look. I mean, I don't like that spider leggy look either, but I like them to look thick like I'm wearing false lashes. And a lot of people like them to look, you know, defined and wispy kind of. Like for the off, you know, like people usually wear the opposite. They don't usually wear really thick, heavy mascara. This is great. And what I use this for now, since I don't really care for it, is I just use the skinny side and I'm using it on the bottom of my, you know, just using it for the bottom because the Max Hot Naughty is not really great. I mean, it's really heavy. It's really heavy, it's a really good, and I feel like the Max Hot Naughty does a better job at volumizing, but it still lengthens. It still has a decent lengthening um, property to it. So to me, this and this are not the same. They just aren't, they just aren't the same. But if you're looking for one that's cheap and you really like the separating, lengthening kind of mascara, I mean, for $8, who cares about the double thing? You know, just use use it however it is that you see fit. But they are definitely not dupes for one another. So, but you could always try it out. I mean, what what's the harm? I mean, everybody's lashes are different. That That's what's so hard about makeup is that people's skin and their lashes and their brow, you know, anything like that is different. So you never quite know if it's going to work out for you. But that's how it did for me. And to me, I think I have pretty decent lashes. So any mascara is going to do really well. And I don't feel that this volumized at all. But skyscrapers, if you really like long lashes and they didn't look clumpy and they didn't, um, you know, they weren't they were just really pretty long, flowy lashes. This is for you. If you want something that's thickening, not quite as lengthy, but more like a false lash kind of look, I would go with the Hot Naughty or try a different mascara, definitely. Right now, I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Flared, the new one that was the Flared, and I really like that one. Um, if you want a review on the, on the, um, Falsies the flared one. Just let me know. I hope this helped. I mean, like I said, everybody's eyelashes are different. So, but that's my, how it worked for me. So, I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you soon. To the rest, to the rest.